Whoa, dude, look, it's the spooky, spooky bear murder game. Whoa, whoa, dude, I can't believe this. I, whoa, dude, look, whoa, a lady and a guy. Why is my screen, hold on, wait, I need to adjust the screen. It's in, like, windowed mode or some crap. Hold on a sec. I need to make the screen bigger so it can be a good experience for everybody. All right, there, that's better. Now we can have the game. So this is Dragging Grandpa. Um, I bought it today. It was on some kind of Christmas deal thing. Because, hey, what's better for Christmas to sell than a game about murder? Whoa, dude, look, a dude died. Whoa, a bear that's half black. Whoa, a truck. Whoa, a bear again. Dude, whoa, a, a, bunch, of, a bunch of people. Hope. Um, oh. What's he looking at? Oh, he's going to hit the button. It's a play that that was easy sound effect when it hits. Come on, come on, come on, hit the button, hit the button! That was easy. <laughs> that was so stupid. Um, probably funny though once it's been edited in. Alright, so yeah, this is called Dang Dangam Rampa, Dangam Rampa, something like that. It's pretty much like if you crossed a visual novel with a, like, um, uh, like a murder mystery, like, like a reflex type game, you know, like, like you gotta be quick. Um, kind of like a rhythm game, but there's no rhythm, I think. <laughs> Look at this freaking guy. I love this guy. <laughs> Look at his nose. He looks like he has a, like a butt for a nose. Or like a pair of you-know-whats. Um, let's, uh, press start. Okay. Wow. New game. Uh, do I want English or Japanese? Obviously English. I don't speak Japanese, duh. Alright, logic difficulty. Gentle, kind, or mean. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna go with kind. I'll go with kind for this. Let's play the game. Oh, it's a gummy bear. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Why does he have the button sitting right in front of his crotch? Oh, oh, he's looking at a guy. Oh my gosh, a guy got kidnapped. Whoa, dude, this guy is tied up. That sucks for, for him. Good thing it's not me. Oh, did he just sh Wait, what did he just do? Is he- is he in the electric chair? Is this what happens to serial killers? They put them in these things? Blast off. Okay. Is he going to hell? I mean, like, he's going up, so that's more like heaven. But if he's going up, he's gonna die and wind up in hell, probably, because he did something bad. Whoa, dude, he just went through a giant cloud. Whoa, <laughs> what is this? What? They got lips. The, the moon has lips. Oh, God. No. Don't crash, please. Please, no, no. Oh, and he just crashed, and the the guy is just given a dead, cold stare of a bear. Care Bear stare. Whoa. <laughs> it's uh, Sans. <laughs> Whoa, dude, this game has Sans from Undertale in it. Whoa, dude. Dude, I can't believe that Sans had a cameo in Dragon Grandpa. All right, so I don't know who that guy was, but he just got uh, assassinated. Trigger Happy Havoc. Dongan Rampa. Let's, like, apply this game. Mystery, mystery, mystery. Massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Whoa, dude, a big school. Hope Speak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it's a... <coughs> oh, I just burped. Uh, with hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope uh, in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. Um, it's literally made to raise a person named Hope. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student, student could enroll here. The only way is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students is Sans from Undertale. Oh, it talks! I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Nagi! Whoa, dude. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. I don't... How would I know you're average? You just look like a dude with very tall hair. Average on the outside. Average on the inside. Average on the inside of my underwear too, uh, but still date me. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I'm an ugly loser. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. Being a mutant wouldn't be a good thing. That probably means you're gonna get, like, uh, cancer, doesn't it? 
mutations can cause cancers. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment, because I'm a loser. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. No idea what that means. Whoa, dude, he's going into school! I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still, here I am standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. I have a really stupid design on my hood. I can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. Uh, why would you die? I mean, you probably will die because it's a murder mystery game, but still. <laughs> I mean, you don't know that yet. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is... Well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Oh, wow, he's on 4chan, guys, saying hateful things on 4chan. Wow, it invites students who are the truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students who were way beyond your average high schooler. Um, wow, for example, ultimate pop sensation. She's a high school girl who is a loser. Let's skip past this part. Whoa, ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Wow, ultimate fashionista. Wow, beautiful lady, be beautiful lady. Junko Inoshim. And Ashim, she's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Even me, because I am a high school girl. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader, too. The scary thing is, he's the leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. His hair looks like a piece of chicken. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, ultimate fanfic creator, and ultimate gambler. The ultimate swimming pro, programmer, clairvoyant, and some reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom, head to butt crack. I feel like a tame little house cat who walked into the lions, blah blah blah. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be average students like me, without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average high school student like me get picked to come into this ultimate high school? Whoa, I'm such a nerd, guys. Whoa, I can't believe they picked me. I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. Um, we recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. Oh, wow. That's not cool. Ultimate lucky student? That's not nice. Okay. Um, but after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I couldn't just say no. But then, actually standing there, in front of the school, I started to feel lost like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down from the acceptance letter, clutched in my hand. I pulled out a gun. Not actually. And then I walked in for 8 a.m. The meeting will be soon. I will head in. Let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I had done this a million times before. I took my first step towards the main hall. I went into the school, I'm guessing. Wow. This is a nice school. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. Really elegant clock in the corner. It says it's 7.10 a.m. Meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's a full 50 minutes left. It makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly. I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some people, if nothing else. Uh, it totally says some people. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. My first step towards starting a new life at a new school, which is what I was hoping for. But then I died. Oh wait, does he actually die? What the? But the instant I took that step forward, my view became warped, twisted, 
and as did parts of my body. My whole body became twisted, even my nether regions, and it hurt really bad when they got twisted, guys. That's a sensitive part. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went black. This was how it all began, and how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Um, welcome to despair. Is that blood? Wait, no, this isn't right. Hold up. Do you want to save the data? Sure, dude. Um, empty slot one. Save here, yeah. Dot 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 dot. Ni? Whoa. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. I ate McDonald's and gained like 50 pounds. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? This ain't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck's going on? He then realized that he was kidnapped by Justin Bieber. Whoa. Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. This is especially useful while you're peeing. If you aim at an object you can interact with, you can press the left mouse button. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Use WASTA buttons to adjust your viewpoint. Or you can press and hold the right mouse button and move the mouse around. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Is this my aim? Is this how I pee? Okay, what's this? That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can see a line of drool I must have left there. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's on that desk? Uh, an orientation guide? It's some kind of cheap-looking pamphlet, and there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be in your entire world. What the heck? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Um, no, I think you, like, get murdered in this game or something. Uh, not entirely sure. What am I supposed to do? I can't move. It's not letting me- Oh, wait! It's the clock! Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Dude, I'm just like spam clicking to find stuff to investigate. Huh? Wait, what's that? What is that? There's a TV. Let's watch Spongebob on it. Wow, I'm watching Spongebob. Okay, and then there's a tapestry here. Can't click that. I hope that doesn't say, like, the F word in Japanese. Dude, do I have to look for everything? Oh, okay. Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep these weirdos from wandering in. Not sure why it's a blurry PNG image, though. Alright, my face cam's getting in the way of stuff I can click on, I think. It's making it very difficult. Dude, what am I supposed to click on? Oh, wait, up here. No? Okay, that's just the clock. I already read that. Um, I haven't clicked down here. Dude, aren't there, like, murderers in this game? When does the violent, uh, terroristic crime start? Yeah, that's the desk I fell asleep on. And the next semester is about to start. It'll be your entire world. I read that already. Dude, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, press the R key to exit a hallway or return to whatever room you were just in. Alright. I better look around the classroom a little more before I head out. Why?! There's nothing in here that's useful. Unless there's like a piece of poop on the floor or something. It'll tell me that somebody just crapped in this room. But other than that, there's nothing. Alright, dude, I'm just spam clicking all over the place. Dude, what are the controls again? Uh, A and D. Oh, you can rotate everything! Okay! What? Wait, it's bolted shut. Any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. If I were to knock on it. Conk, conk. Definitely metal. Thick too and very solid. That's not what matters here. Why are there metal plates all over the windows? Hold up, homie. What might have happened is I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall, and someone carried me here. If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then, if that's true, this just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows. It's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. Blah blah blah. You leave the classroom by pressing the R key. Dude, you can like look around and stuff. Oh wait. Leave the area? Sure, why not? Jeez, this hallway is weird too. It's getting stranger by the second. I have no idea what's going on. I'll head to the main hall. Use the Wasta's keys to move through the hallway. Shift while moving to run. You can press the tab key to bring up a map. Uh, and close the map also. Wow. 
Dude, I thought this was like a visual novel type thing, but you can walk around. Dude, this is awesome. Whoa, I'm running. I'm running super fast, dude. Whoa! Oh no, I'm gonna hit my head. Bonk! Ow. What is that? I wonder why there's a big gate here. Yeah, that's all you have to say, huh? What's in the gym? The handle didn't move at all. Well, what am I supposed to do? It's hard to walk here. I keep hitting my head on stuff. Is this like the janitor's closet? The AV room. It's locked. Dude, everything's freaking locked in this game. Uh, I wonder where the red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. Why do you feel sick? It's not that bad yet. All right, man. 1A from My Hero Academia. The door won't budge. Oh, no. Despair Hotel. Incredibly pixelated. Despair Hotel? Guess it's a place for people to stay overnight. But anyway, I need to get to the main hall. Dude, the music in this game is loud, but it's kind of a bop if you think about it. It's like... Maybe it has something to do with the Walmart, like, symbol here. Where do I go? Oh, this door's opened already! Alright, I went in. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Yup, that's me! Another new kid! Then you guys are all... Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. Oh, well, I don't really care. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Yeah, it's, it's probably everyone. It doesn't really matter, though, because we all, like, got assassinated or whatever. Standing before me were the ultimate students. Everyone was gathered here, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wow. Wow, dude, look at this. Everybody's a cardboard cutout. Um, how's it going? My name's Magado Nagi. Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Mm -hmm. Oh, you too? Things have just- things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser! Mm -hmm. So strange, I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed! Um, what are you talking about? I have no idea what's going on right now. There's a moment! There's something we must address! You tardy, this is unacceptable! Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. Sharp! To be late on your first day is unspeakable! I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment, which is beheading. What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. Everyone calm down. Just listen. Why don't we go around and introduce ourselves? I don't think I have the, uh, this many voices I can do, so they might just all have to have my voice. The hell? Now it's no time for friggin' introductions. <laughs> I forgot what her voice was already. I'm just gonna read them in my real voice. Maybe, but it may be good at least to find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. How are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? That's a good point. Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way then. We can move out to whoever else, uh, whatever else I mean. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is a good chance, as good a chance as I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone up on that Hope's Peak Academy thread, but I still don't really think that I know what kind of people they are. It's time to find out. Um, I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim at a student and press the left mouse button to talk to them. Each conversation is important to the story, so keep track of how they go. Um, there's her, her, her. Oh, by the way, obviously this is spoilers for the game. What's this? Can I talk to you? A camera has what looks like a gun attached to it, but there's no way that's a real gun, right? Okay, this is kind of spooky. Like, this is for real kind of a little bit freaky hold up wait what's that a tv okay this game's spooky no wait hold up hold up what is all this stuff um a microwave oh a mailbox this is weird i'm gonna talk to the fat guy first i am hifumi yamada i am hifumi yamada but if you ain't call me by my name shut up i'm trying to do your voice for you okay wow <laughs> i love this dude this dude's great, ultimate fanfic creator. How do you go to like a school for writing fanfiction? By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? Yeah, that world I am well known, supremely regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? It's too bad about them. Uh, but selling 10,000 copies is pretty remarkable. However, 
The worlds of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nagy, you would, or Nagy, however you say it, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What kind of meaning, dude? It's about embracing our basest urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. What if I talk to him again? Does he just say the same thing? Okay, it's the same thing. This video is 23 minutes long! I've been recording 23 minutes. Alright, dude, this is the end of the video for now. Um, this game's kind of spooky, but it's kind of long, so I don't know how long I could really record this for. I don't know, I gotta record a long time with all the dialogue. Like, it's worse than Doki Doki with that. So, uh, yeah. Maybe if I get enough likes, I'll make another one. So let's shoot for... I don't know, dude. Like, 10 likes, I guess. Yeah, 10 likes. Because... This is different than my usual content, so people might not see it. So if I say 10 likes, that's probably fair. So yeah, 10 likes, part 2. Either that or I'll just do a part 2 because I feel like it. But yeah, with that, I'm gonna go now. Peace.